Before we start with the video, go in the description bar and check out the link for G2A to get cheap games and codes. What up guys, I'm back with another video and we're going to go over on how to root the new blue version of Bluestacks. Let me load it up real quick. This is the actual Bluestacks that I would consider to be an actual release because the previous Bluestacks didn't look anywhere close to looking like this. The current version we're using is one point... I know it's one point something. One point, one point, nine point, one six seven. I'm not gonna set up set it up or anything because I don't see the point if I'm gonna root it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up Blue Stacks Easy. I'm just gonna run it as administrator. You don't have to, but I do it anyways. Now, according to the root checker, it should not be rooted. So if we go ahead and install root check, it should say it's not rooted. Okay, let's open up root checker, it should be confirmed it's not rooted, there we go, it's not rooted. So after we do that, we're going to detect the version, Rest case so it detects it right, run computer for compatibility, I should say it's compatible, okay, it looks like it's compatible. So we're gonna go to root easy, auto detect, KitKat signature, rooting method two with clockwork mod um, method and um, unsquashed system. This is gonna be like, um, this is the way of rooting it since it doesn't really work otherwise. If you wanna increase your file storage, we can go ahead and do this. Put these both to 32 gig. You can't put it higher than 32 gig. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We go back to root easy, and we're gonna go ahead and install the new files for it to be rooted. So we're gonna close that OS, program data, blue stacks, Android, paste it here, replace the files. If you can't, if it doesn't let you replace it, you need to close out blue stacks, just like this. Just wait for it to be closed, and there you go. Try again, and then there you go. Now it let you replace it. So now we're going to go ahead and proceed with the rooting. If you want to increase the uh, the uh, memory, you can put it here. Change memory, and now it runs off of two gigabytes, and it should. It already runs off of a lot, so I don't think you would need to do that. So go back to root easy. Right now it's preparing needed stuff. Let me just let it go. Just so you know, you don't really need the root checker that I have installed onto it because it's a BlueStacks Easy will automatically install a root checker for you to make sure it's checked that it's rooted. So what we gotta do is just let this load. Okay. Okay, now it's loading up his script. done okay okay so it should be finished now and it should automatically start blue stacks I got this under the dark skin so it should be the skin it's running off of I'm not running Windows 8.1 I'm actually running Windows 10 as you can see but it doesn't really detect that so I'm also using um it's it's about the same mod RAM. I'm using actually 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it doesn't understand that. And a lot of blue stacks. I guess it didn't load it up because this is a new version. Okay. Usually this check for update thing right here doesn't really work. So if you're trying to use it, it doesn't really work because you got to go to the website and update it. So. Just saying, doesn't usually work all the time. Okay, let's see. Should almost be done. Um, the next video I'll be making soon will be on how to block um ads on your phone 
on your Android phone. And hopefully you guys check out that video whenever I decide to release it. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see that video. But right now, and the best part is you don't need a, you need your phone rooted. I'll tell you how to do it and everything. It's just taking a bit. I think I'm gonna close it and then reopen it. Doesn't look like doesn't look like it launched right. I'll go ahead and close this too. It's still closing. All right, there we go. Let's slow up Blue Stacks again. This um, Blue Stacks full of bugs right now, so if you're gonna try to use it, it might take a bit to use because it is pretty buggy. Um, because um, we just gotta wait for like at least another month for them to make out another patch and it should fix everything. Usually it takes about one to two patches for it to fix the software for its bugs. I'm just saying. So it should be almost ready. It looks like it's launching up now. Before it wasn't. Not sure why though. As I say again, it's full of bugs. All right, there we go. Stretch your bucks. All right, it looks like everything was installed. All the apps that were supposed to be installed are now installed. So it changes the launcher and turns it into something else. Okay, we're going to choose root checker. Root checker, check now. Alright, so it looks like it's rooted. If it has super user installed, then it should be rooted. There you go. So guys, that's how you check whether or not if your Android, if, you, if it's rooted or not. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If it's very useful, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Goodbye.